I'm 13 WMAZ meteorologist Alex Forbes with the latest on Tropical Storm Elsa downgraded earlier this morning from a hurricane as it weakened ever so slightly still a 70 mile an hour tropical storm you can see right there, which is four miles an hour below hurricane status. So still a fairly strong tropical storm making its way through the Caribbean, moving towards the west northwest here at about 28 miles an hour. We expect it to keep its strength at right around 70 miles an hour as it approaches Cuba, move over Cuba through the day on Monday and reemerge over the Gulf of Mexico and eventually ride up the west coast of Florida before making landfall somewhere in the big bend of Florida. That's the forecast as of now. Our models have come into much better alignment and then as it makes its way through Georgia, likely past somewhere between Macon and Savannah as we go through the afternoon on Wednesday and up into the Norfolk Virginia Beach area by Thursday. So because of that hurricane warning still remains in effect for parts of Haiti. You see there uh, close to Elsa Center do have a tropical storm warning for parts of Cuba and then now a tropical storm watch there for the Florida Keys. So the United States beginning watches and warnings for Elsa. Here's a look at two of our bigger models. The European has come into more alignment. There's the GFS Tuesday at three. There's the European so fairly close to one another and then the GFS takes it in close to us here in central Georgia as we go through the afternoon while well, the European uh, takes Elsa across the Florida Peninsula and reemerges it over the Atlantic fairly quickly. If it makes its way into central Georgia, I think it'll weaken rather rapidly. And if it stays just offshore, it will hold its strength a little more and ride up the east coast of the United States. But the further away from central Georgia it is, the less our impacts here are across the state. So here's a look at future view. Notice this uh, model that we use for future view is keeping Elsa on the right side of the cone there taking it closer to the keys as we get into early Tuesday morning, but there's the cone. So the center could be anywhere uh, west to east in that shaded area. Here's a look at our spaghetti models. Most of those also coming into alignment now. See taking it here into the Gulf of Mexico rather than the Atlantic Ocean and then turning it over the Florida Peninsula. We could still see the center pass somewhat close to Macon. So a lot of time before this happens, a lot of changes will be made to this forecast. So certainly check back for updates. Here's what you need to know. A storm is slightly weaker than yesterday. We're looking at impacts in Florida starting on Monday. I know this week is a busy travel week down in the Sunshine State, so if you're headed down there, keep that in mind. And if we see any impacts from Elsa in central Georgia, it'll be on Wednesday.